beautiful. How are you? Welcome to day one of the Rock Your Papers five day incoming papers challenge. I'm so excited to have you here. I see that we're waiting for a few people to hop on live. That is okay, but I am just really excited about this week. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's coming up for you this week in the challenge, and then we'll go over what you're building. We'll take kind of a walkthrough of this action file that you've been gathering your supplies for. Because today's task, task for day number one, was to gather your supplies. That's it, super simple bite-sized task. Are you ready? Awesome. Hi, Mary. I see Mary's hopped on. Welcome. Feel free when you hop on to also hop over to the chat in the comments area and say hello. Let me know who you are, where you're joining me from, as I always like to hear. And if you like something or you find it interesting, give me a like or something like that or a heart. I always like to know what's resonating with people. Hey, Doris. Welcome. Good morning. So this is a five day challenge the five day incoming paper challenge. We're focusing on all the papers that come into our home. And yes, this can be adapted for the workplace as well. You'll just name the files a little bit differently, but we'll talk about that very briefly. Um, but every paper that comes into your life can be managed by this one system. And you may have already heard of it. It is called the action file. And I have so many people who love the action file. So that's our focus for this week. Throughout the week, every single day, we will have one small bite-sized task for you to do to set up your action file. So I'm so glad that you're all joining me, all my beautiful people. I see Samantha and Rhonda and is it Sabi? S-A-B-Y, oh, that's a really cool name, Sabi? Or maybe Sabi, my best friend's name is Sabi. <laughs> Kathy, hi everybody, I'm so glad that you're here. If you have any questions, feel free, post them in the comments area. I will try to get all of your questions answered, but if I miss it, then feel free to ask it again. So if you don't already know me, my name is Susanna Kay. I used to be a professional organizer, one-on-one -on -one in people's homes, and I transitioned several years ago to teaching online. So I have the Spark Life Binder, which organizes your most important papers. I have the Paper Path Membership, which if you're overwhelmed with papers and you have a lot to sort or go through, or you're not sure how to set up all of your paper systems, the paper path is a membership that you can join to walk you through bite-sized steps. But I also do live webinars. You can find everything about what I do and offer in the store on my website. So SusannaK.com and then just click on the store link and you'll see everything that I do. But this is one of my favorite topics capturing papers because I know how stressful papers can be. So I'm excited about this week. And hi, I see like Janice and Joanne and Linda, so many people. Awesome. Oh, Renee. Yes, not a problem, Renee. I will have this posted for the full week. Um, if you can't watch this whole live video, the full week, it'll be on the Facebook page and in the group. Um, and you'll have everything there. And also watch your email. If you're not already registered, then make sure to register. So let me grab that register link actually really quickly for you in case you are not already registered for the challenge because that way you can actually get all of the tasks for each day. And that's the only way that you can actually get the tasks. So I just added in the comments area. It's SusannaK.live forward slash join dash the dash challenge. Made it easy. All right, so this is what we are working on this week. This is called the action file. And this little baby is what can hold absolutely every incoming paper that comes into your life. So each day for the five days, we will take one more small bite of creating this, learning how to use it and how to maintain it. So today we're focusing on, you just gathered your supplies. So the supplies are very basic. You probably already have them in your home. If not, they're not that hard to find. I shared the links within my shop page on the website. I also have the links to supplies that I recommend, including like this box and file folders, all of that. But you'll just gather all of your supplies together because tomorrow we're going to build it. So on Tuesday, day two, we will put this all together. And then throughout the week, we're going to talk about what the different files are for and how to get your papers into them. We'll talk about how to get your papers back out of them so you don't forget about anything important. And we will talk about maintaining it and where to put it in your home. So the action file holds every single paper that comes into your life. 
it can look like this with a desktop organizer. It could look like the one on the wall I have here, which let me just scroll up a little bit. It could be a wall organizer. It all depends on what you prefer for your lifestyle. But let's talk about the supplies first because that's day one, right, is the supplies. So you will need, this is a desktop organizer. There are many different styles available, but it holds hanging file folders, which is helpful. I prefer the ones that hold the hanging file folders versus the uh, tabbed file folders like these, if it's going to sit on a desk or be any type of a box thing. The only time I use these is if it's on the wall, one of these wall organizers, that's when I will use the standalones. But this definitely helps to have the hanging file folders because it's much easier to get your papers quickly in, quickly out, and we are human. So if it's not quick and easy, we won't do it. So the faster and easier, the better. So you'll need a desktop file holder. This one, I also, like I mentioned in the supplies link, I shared where to get this one if you like it. But you can get ones that can hang on the wall too. So if you wanted one that can hang on the wall in your entrance to your home or wherever, then this type can also do that. So you need the holder and then you'll just simply need some hanging file folders with the tabs. If you want a label maker, it is nice to have a label maker, but it is not required. That is completely up to you. And then within one of the file folders, I like to put a little, um, what are they called? Like supply, a little office pen and pencil pouch type of things with quick grab supplies. So within here, you would probably want maybe a stapler, paper clips, the binder clips, you know, these little types, which I like to use instead of paper clips. A lot of times they don't get stuck. The papers don't get stuck together as much. I like post-it notes. Of course, you need maybe a pen, pencil, highlighter. If you let still write checks, a checkbook, you can just throw your whole checkbook in there and you can do stamps, envelopes, depending on what you do the most. You don't want it to get too full, but you'll just put them all in a little pencil pouch, which will go right into your action file. And we'll talk about where this will go in the rest of the week. But just as a quick preview, I usually, if it's a desktop file holder, I just stick it in a front empty file holder. Um, so that way you have all of your supplies right there and easy and they can't wander away because we know how pens and pencils wander away, right? <laughs> So it's all in one spot for you to handle everything that comes in really easily. Um, Renee says that she has an expandable organizer with 12 tabs. Will that work? The accordion type, um, it can work. It's not as easy though. So if you are the type where if it's not super fast and super easy, then you'll put it off, then I would not recommend it. If you are the type where once you set up a system, you will move you know, heaven and earth to make it work. And you'll go through those extra steps of either opening the top or finding the right thing and expanding it a little bit, then it might work. Um, but it's not my favorite. And sometimes I say, use what you have until you can get something that you like better. So if you do prefer to have either a desktop or a wall organizer, that's fine to use the expandable one until you find the desktop organizer that you want. So let's talk about the different types really quickly like i mentioned this is the desktop it could also be hung on the wall but they do sell organizers that hang on the wall you could get something like this where it's a wall oops i just knocked it off the the nail but it's a wall organizer um and it's just the different tabs on the wall and you can put the different folders in it it's just gonna be a little crooked for a little bit that looks a little weird doesn't it <laughs> but also if you are afraid of out of sight out of mind you can also get these clear types or a wire type of wall hanger. And these are just the cascading type where they would go one under the other on the wall. You'll probably want about five. So something with five pockets or five of these types of organizers because we will be doing a maximum of 10 folders in here. And I know it sounds crazy, all of your incoming papers fitting in 10 folders, but yes, it does. Let me just fix this before it drives all of us crazy. But you'll just see this just hangs on the wall on little nails. But my nails are very shallow. I, I prefer to use the picture holders. So if you're going to hang it on the wall instead of nails, I like the little ones, the picture holders that bend up so that it can't fall off the nail. 
Uh, Cindy says that she likes the wall organizer. Yeah, I love having the wall organizer. You could do either one though, but I am very much an out of sight, out of mind person. So a lot of times with the wall organizer, I can see all the file folders very easily versus something like this. I actually have two action files though. The wall I use for my office, for my work action file, and my regular home action file I keep on the kitchen counter. And that's right near my entrance path. And we will talk later this week about where to place your action file, but yeah, the wall one is great too. So the reason this is called an action file is because each folder is labeled with the action for the paper. So we don't care what type of paper it is. We're not labeling it bank statements, coupons. We're labeling it by what is the next step for this paper. And we will go much more in depth for that, uh, about that for the rest of the week. But that is just a preview of, we're talking about the next action, which makes it so much easier to quickly put it into a folder and easier to not forget it. So you can actually follow up on those actions, not forget about them. Sound good? All right, so if you have any questions at all, please feel free, ask them in the comments. But I'm super excited about this week for you. Uh, <laughs> Cindy says that she's listening to a simultaneous job search webinar at the same time as this. Yes, this one is absolutely recorded. So you can watch this over and over again as much as you want for the full week. Sally says that she likes these ideas. That's awesome. I'm so glad. There we go. Now we can pop them on the screen. I forgot that we could even do this. So if, like I mentioned, if you have any questions at all, um, I'm reading through some of the comments right now. Uh, all right. I don't see any other questions yet. So throughout the rest of the week, each morning, if you're registered, you will get an email with the task for the day. And any day that there's not a live session, you'll have a video in with that task that you can watch right then, or you can save it for later and watch, but they will be quicker videos. The lives tend to run a little bit longer because I get to answer questions and talk with all of you, which I love. But every single day, we're just taking one small bite so that by the end of the week, your action file is completely set up. It's in place. You know exactly how to use it and you're running with it. You know how to maintain it and you won't forget anything. Um, Lily asks, can you suggest for a small house with limited space? If it's a small home, then I would definitely either do the desktop type of file that can hang on a wall. So one with those little hooks or one of these wall organizers. And I believe that both of these are on the link on the website. So SusannaK.com. And then you click on shop or whatever, and you'll see the little supplies suggested supplies link right there. But the wall one is great because you could either use it on wall space or you could hang it right behind the door, wherever you have space and they don't take up a lot of room. So that's my favorite. Mickey asks, are we using file folders inside the hanging folders? No, we're not. We just only use the hanging file folders because we want to make this as simple as possible. So our brain does not have to make a whole lot of different choices. So the way our brains work, when it comes to making quick decisions, if there are more than 10 maximum choices, usually some of us even less, for me it's probably about seven, but then our brain has too many options and it has to engage too much and that's when we start to procrastinate or we start to question ourselves and the whole system shuts down, it gets much harder. But if we have fewer choices with broad categories, then we can quickly put away what we need to put away. So when you come in with a paper, you're not trying to make a decision between 20 different options or finding a main file folder and then within it finding a secondary file folder. That's too much engagement for our brains when we've got a screaming kid, barking dogs, arms full of groceries and papers in our hands. So we want this to be so simple that you can brainlessly put all of your papers right into it. So we're doing 10 or fewer categories for our hanging file folders. And that's why we use actions as far as what our next action is with the paper and not what the paper type is. Because that gets, once you're used to it, it gets really easy to just dump it right in the correct folder and then keep on with your day until you're ready to actually take those actions. And then if you're familiar with batching, where you do the same type of action in a chunk of time, which is much more efficient than going through and doing a phone call here, entering something in your calendar, 
If you're doing all the same type of action in one session, then it's much more efficient and you can get through it much more and it's already batched for you in the action file. Um, let's see, yeah, uh, Sadie says, I have this set up. Oh, actually, here we go. There we go, I have this set up, but my office is on the second floor. Yes, we're gonna talk about placement on, I believe, Wednesday and where to put your action file so it's easiest. Because if it's all the way up on the second floor, you're not going to be able to get to it very quickly. So that is definitely something. On Wednesday, we'll talk more about it, but it's going to be in your main walking path when you first come in with your papers. So if you normally come in through your little laundry room or through a garage door or through the front door, we're gonna find something on that first walking path to make it as easy as possible. Well, fantastic. You all had some amazing questions. I'm so excited to see each of you here. I see Paula asks, um, oh, I can't see that link while I'm live, but I will have to um, check it out later. I'm assuming with it being a three-tier organizer, that might, if it's one of the ones with the, um, where they hang flat, lay flat, and you slide papers in, those don't work very well at all because it's way too hard to get the papers in and out and to not lose papers within it. Those are very, very difficult to use for most people. Now, there's always exceptions to the rules, but for the most part, they're very hard. Um, but I can't see that link right now. I'd have to check that later. Uh, Kathy says that she has a has had a rolling cart, 14 inches squares for about 15 years with an open top. Yes, uh, and she uses it for a tickler system, which she's rarely used, but now she will use it for the wonderful system and do it. Yay! Yeah, it's probably a little bit bigger than you need for the action file because really you need just a very small amount of space because we're doing 10 categories or fewer. So with that rolling cart, if it is extra large, and I love that it has the top that can be open and you can quickly tuck things in it, Maybe the front area can be the action file uh, folders, and then you can use the back section for something else, even for storage. Maybe your purse can go in there when you come in and your keys or something like that, but you don't wanna get too many file folders into your action file area. So you'll want to definitely segment that because it's bigger, but I do love those types of carts. I'm rather jealous. I wish I had one of those still. Oh, welcome, Lisa. And yep, Paula says, yep, those are the ones. Yeah, I don't love the flat ones. They are just way too difficult to get things in and out of and see all the papers. And I prefer ones that stand up because then you're dropping papers in and they can't get lost in the back or um, misplaced, things like that. Well, fantastic questions. If you have any other questions, whether you're watching on the replay or at the end of the live, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be checking the comments of the live videos throughout the week. You can also post in the Facebook group. The Facebook group is the best place to be with all of us. Throughout the week, we'll be posting pictures of our action files. So as you get your supplies, pop over to the group, take a photo of the supplies that you chose because we're all so different and we can give each other great ideas about some of our supplies. As you build your files, post the photos of your action files, ask questions, comment on each other's posts and encourage each other. And that's the big thing. This week is all about encouraging each other to get through some of our incoming papers, some of those piles on the kitchen counter. We can tackle so much easier by the end of the week. So this is gonna be so much fun, beautiful. I'm excited to have you here. Now, head on over, grab your supplies right now. I promise it does not take very long. And I will see you all in your email inbox tomorrow and in the Facebook group for the rest of the week. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all very soon. I love you. Bye.